Hey guys, welcome back to Bike Vids. Super special edition today. I have right here an E13 946 cassette. Nice and sealed. Very excited to open it up and also tell you about the whole project that really, I mean, I have to say, um, what is in this box kicked off an entire pro uh, just, you know, train of thought that more or less resulted in everything you can maybe see here on this table. I have a pair of cranks, I've got shift levers, I have a derailleur, I have multiple pairs of, of tires. It's, it's ridiculous. There's a clipboard, um, an empty glass of, of beer. So uh, this box basically is to blame for that. So I'm excited to open it up and show, oh, I have a scale. We're gonna measure stuff. Not really a uh, big weight leaning here at, at bike bids, but you know, hey, I don't know. We're gonna fully do this today. Um, before we get there, the project that really kind of kicked this off was me discovering that the E13 946 cassette existed. And when when it did, uh, you know, I'm riding many a mile, thinking, thinking, 946, and I decided to try to turn the Link C into a one by drivetrain. And so uh, that's that's the ultimate ultimate goal. In addition, I also have a pair of 650B wheels from Scribe coming soon and we're going to put those on the IBIS and transfer the 700C Robals that are on there as well on the Link C. So multiple bikes, multiple projects, it's going to be a big, big deal. So I'm really excited to get into uh, into this box and see see what this uh, cassette is all about because it's, it's, uh, its mere existence has sparked so much uh, excitement here at Bike Vids. All right, folks, let's get into this. Let's actually, uh, let's open this guy up. Um, very simple, uh, simple packaging, uh, appreciated. Now uh, a bunch of flim flam uh, advertising, uh, you know, wild and crazy stuff outside of the box. Um, I ordered this so, you know, a lot of people are talking about finding uh, parts during COVID times. As, uh, as I just explained, I have a big project happening basically with, with two of my bikes. So lots of, of parts. And for the most part, I've been pretty lucky. With this guy, I actually um, went to their website and they said they were sold out of the Helix R11 speed cassette that uh, sells for about $289. Um, but then I was on the Facebook and guess what? All of a sudden there's this ad from E13 for this and they said they had it and then I went and bought it um, there through through that. So I, I, I don't know. Um, okay, opening it up interesting. Um, there are two boxes in here. Um, it would kind of be very mean to maybe have made some kind of mistake and accidentally ordered two, but uh, let's see what's going on. All right. Um, we have a couple small boxes in here. Again, very tasteful. Um, I think I see what's happening with the, the two boxes. So in this first one, uh, nice. It looks like maybe we just have the 46 uh, cog here. Um, in addition, underneath here, ooh, nice. Uh, we've got some instructions, which are important to know. Um, some shims and a spacer. What are those for? Don't know. Gonna have to read the instruction. Some some grease, which is nice. Um, in case you don't have some. And my favorite, worth the $289 already, a sticker. Uh, wonderful. In this second box, 
I'm just gonna tell you right now, this is a pretty friggin' nice box. Um, Bike Fizz is gonna be using these this box for some uh, storage at a later time. Uh, in the second box here, I think we probably have the remainder of the cassette. Uh, yep, yeah, sure enough. Uh, this is very, both of these are very pretty and, and very nice. And I can tell very lightweight. We'll talk about the clipboard and some of the, the stats I have um, here. And so here's the, the larger cassette. It comes in a few different colors. This is bronze. Um, and it comes in a, a blue and maybe a black. Um, so it kind of looks like that this larger one fits on separately and then the, the remaining of them fit on top. In this box we have <laughs> the same thing. Uh, another sticker, more lube, and another set of instructions. Which, you know, if you're like me, uh, you could never have too many reminders that instructions are important. So. Here in the Bike Vids database, uh, we show that this is the Helix R 11 speed 946 cassette. It does mount only on an XD XDR free hub, which I don't have. Uh, I'm running SRAM Classic PJ, uh, uh, PG 1130 1142 cassette, uh, and so I'm gonna we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out together. Um, it has a 511 percent range. That's wild. And supposedly, this cassette only weighs 325 grams, um, which is like basically uh, a couple hundred less than the SRAM uh, cassette that I'm running right now. What I know about uh, E13 from their website is that they are, from their, uh, their uh, explanation of themselves, a small rider-based company. They have a headquarters in Petaluma as well as one in BC. Um, and uh, we're in here in Santa Cruz, uh, just a, you know, a little bit south of Carolina. Uh And so, and like I said, as of now, the 28th of February, they are sold out of this cassette. So let's do some, some weighing in here. And this may involve some math due to um, the two pieces. So, the larger cassette. Hundred and ninety-four. Oh, ninety-five. Each weight ninety-four. I don't. I don't. This is uh, for use in our kitchen. I'm gonna put hundred and ninety-four. Seems to be going back and forth. And one forty-one. So I have 335, which is 10 grams heavier than what they say, um, which I feel like is kind of kind of normal. So this is it. The next time we talk, um, you're gonna see this on the pair of wheels that I'm putting on the Linksy, and. Uh, and it's gonna, I mean, at this point, let's just say it's gonna be rad. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more info about the E13 cassette and the uh, Linksy One Byte project. Bye.